morning. Happy Wednesday. I was just getting ready to paint. Seven o'clock snuck up on me today. I was getting my palette prepared because you know sometimes I'm not ready and um, <clears throat> I feel like I've been taking a little bit longer. I've been doing more complicated things. So good morning, everybody. How are you? Thanks for getting up with me. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Diane. Hi, Amy. <clears throat> so after all my crazy, busy summer with art shows and everything, I thought life would settle down a little bit, and it hasn't yet because I've been busy um, getting ready for holiday stuff. So I had the launch of my first like collection um, something I've always wanted to do is like build up enough paintings that I could put them for sale all at the same time um, so I finally did it but oh my gosh what a lot of work bye um, have a good day <clears throat> hi Anita hi Sherry so anyway my goal is to have that all ready and live on my website good morning Julie um, tomorrow and if you're on my newsletter list um the notice i'll go out at noon and then i'll put it out to everybody else after that I'm trying to decide if i should promote it too um since it's my first time kind of doing it this way i'm just learning and figuring it all out um so anyway i think i'll do another ornament this morning i still could use a couple more um for the holidays i think um does that sound good it was either an ornament here I'll show you I still I'm still going back and forth between things here that ornament how fun is that I have this new light but it leaves a glow on there but I also have um, this other one that looked kind of like fun to do too like this what are those called bottle bottle trees or something should I do the ornament or the is that what's it called that Anita or the ornament this the ornament good Anita says yes great love it which one Jackie the bottle brush all right I gotta grab another panel if we're gonna do the bottle brush the bottle brush that's what it's called so I actually finally like have an entire set of panels ready to use. I usually like order six and run out of them in a week. So I got my panel here. So I need to grid it off. Or do I even need to do that for the bottle brush? Probably not, but I'll show you how I do it. Good morning, Portugal. Oh, Susie says ornament. Bottle brush is so different. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We'll do it. Um, so I just need to, I'll turn it around so you can see me. So I just have to, you're gonna see my messy space here. I'm just gritting this off. Cause I like to do it, it just, I'm sure I don't really need to. Now I should have some of these ready, but I have them all, I have like a stack of them. I thought I ordered more than I could possibly use and now I'm already almost out of six by sixes cause I have so many commissions to get done. That's what I should be doing here with you guys is my commissions, right? I get a little more stressed doing those than I do because if this doesn't turn out it doesn't matter all I have to lose is you guys <laughs> thinking that I'm crazy or your faith in my abilities but I can redeem it the next week so I'm just gritting this off I usually have this done ahead of time and the bottle brush shouldn't take terribly long so um, so what's new with you guys? I'm not paying attention to who's talking to me here. Okay, I have that all ready. Let me turn this back around. Um, <clears throat> and then, put this to the side for later. So they already have little hooks in them. And then I wire them. That's how I get them ready for hanging. Oh, well, that's not gridded. Okay, so I'll show you how I do this. Now, let me see if this is 
cropped to the right size. Um, three by four is my size. It's good. And then I go into my grid app. And then you just push that little thing. Are you watching? Can you see? I just pull closer. And then see the grid's already there. I just have to hold my finger. It says save grid and image. Okay. And then I go back over here to my photos. And there it is. How fun is that? Bottle brush. But what's it called? A bottle brush tree? I don't know why I can't remember what it's called. All right. I've been a little lax in taking care of my brushes. They look terrible. Um, I need a studio elf to help me get ready. Okay. So I love that color in there. Isn't that fun? Oops. I have this going the wrong way. Okay. That looks kind of yellow, doesn't it? Now let me get rid of that. Should I straighten it out a little bit? That's probably where those little balls are. <clears throat> I didn't get my paper towels ready. Bye, I love you. Have a good day. Did, Susie, I did a snow globe last year. It was a tiny little snow globe that I have, and it was um, S Santa and a snow... One of them was giving the other one a kiss, Santa and a snowman. I should do that again. That was fun. I know. I need to get lots of reference for next holidays. Sometimes I do feel like I paint the same things over and over again. I'm still not bored with it, so that's all that really matters, right? I don't get bored very easily. Don't you remember being a kid and like doing things and getting bored? Like, and then my kids would complain about being bored, and I used to say like I'd love to be bored. Not, not really. Like I wouldn't really want to be bored, but maybe like for an hour. An hour would be nice. Um, oops, my music's too loud. It's gonna show up in the. Okay, so hopefully, boy, that was, a, I had a debacle last, last uh, week, didn't I, with, I couldn't save the video, I went too long, I don't know if it's because of the holidays, am I a little scatterbrained more than normal, I don't know, could be, could just be me. <clears throat> So, so anyway, oh, I was going to say about my launch of my artwork. I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it, to tell you the truth. Like, what's if nobody even comes to see it? Um, you know, we all have these crazy fears of things. But <clears throat> honestly, if, if you do, check out my stuff tomorrow when it launches. Let me know if you see anything, like, because I did it all myself, all the website stuff, all the photography, all the links, everything. If you see something in like links that don't work or typos or anything, I would love it if you just let me know. Because um, my work's been really busy too, so I'm not uh, quite keeping up. But that's okay, right? That's a mess, huh? Oh, come see. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Make me feel better. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't. I. Uh, I don't know why I feel like that, but it's okay. It's all good. Yeah, the tree's got a lot of yellow in it, doesn't it? That's that sweet innocence of like a little kid's drawing, isn't it? Oh, and I have to show you something else I'm working on, too. I, I'm 
been invited to be part of a gallery in Philadelphia, which I'm so excited about, but now I need to create artwork for it. So this is one of my first things that I've started doing. I did this over the weekend. Let me see if I can get back far enough for you to see it. So that's what I've been working on. How fun is that? And here's my little space where I'm sitting, all my mess. Oh, and I've been working on more little tiny birds. Aren't they cute? And also, I was thinking about doing this too, although I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to make some of these, whoops, for my website. Um, oops, I lost a little piece of paper, but I was gonna do like little um, tiny original oil color, oil paintings and put them in this. Isn't that fun? Uh, oh, the donut is, I think it's 36 by 36. Isn't it fun? A little scary, but pretty fun. Now right here. Now wait, are you seeing my, wait, I have this comment thing. Okay, that's better. Now I can see you better. Oh, you see me. Now wait a minute here. Okay, I'm a mess today. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Okay, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get out the RNF pigment sticks now. It's so fun, right? All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna get out a few fun colors of pigment sticks. I needed to order more panels, so I bought a few more pigment sticks. Um, the other day but I don't have them yet oh what yellow color oh Barbara that's one of my favorite colors it's a Vasari Indian yellow it's amazing it, Vasari is expensive paint but it's it's a treat like I don't have a lot of it um, but the ones I have I do love and you have to buy a hundred dollars worth but you can pair up with a friend and buy them with somebody else you don't have to get that many Pretty close. I'm gonna make this one bigger. It's a little solo one tucked in there, and a little solo one tucked in there. Okay, Nancy. <clears throat> So what is it called? A bottle brush tree? Is that what it's called? I think I need a little pink in there just because I'm feeling in the mood for pink today. No other reason. It's as good a reason as any, right? Maybe a little bit of bright green, too. Oops. Decided the table should be dark for better contrast. I don't know, Julie, why I decided to make the table dark. It might not even end up that way. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Do you like the table dark? I don't know. I try not to think that much during this part of the painting, which I don't know, that's a terrible thing to say, but I'm trying to be more intuitive with what I do and a little less literal. So I try, like even putting the wrong colors, wrong colors, different colors. Last night I painted, I think it's either an owl or a hawk. I don't know what it is to go with my little set and it was a totally random thing I put so many crazy colors in him and he's the most colorful grouchy looking thing I ever did see look how grouchy he looks he looks 
judgmental and grouchy with, with fluffy, colorful feathers. I don't know. Kind of like him. <laughs> Is that a good thing, Julie? Good. Yeah, because I like the on And I did that in the donut here, too. Yes, donut. I have, look at all the colors that I have in there. So I, I feel like I need to go back in and I don't know what I need to do to it. But I think I need highlights on the little jimmies or whatever they're called. And But I don't want to get too tight with it. But I love that, you know, all the whites, all the colors that are in the whites. Isn't that fun? So I did, it was, that was very intuitive. Hi, Carol, how are you? Sorry, you think I'm done, Barbara. Thank you. Maybe. Sometimes knowing when to say I'm finished is the hardest part, right? <clears throat> or often. Okay. So I have all that in. All right, I'm ready to mix some colors. What colors am I going to make? Um, that's mostly creamy, white, brownish. Maybe I need darker browns underneath so those little white spots that have, like, glitter or glue on them pop out. And I need to make these kind of recess a little bit. And that cool bluish turquoise. Huh. All right, so I'll turn you over here. My palette's messy today. <clears throat> I do think oil paint. And the things that you saw me were um, RNF pigment sticks. So they're, they, they're, oil, they're oil pastels, I guess. Oil pigment sticks. Fun. Oh, good, Amy. I'm glad you enjoy it. I have to have a sip of my coffee. Oh, so what's everyone having? Coffee, tea, something different? Diet Coke? All right, let me clean this little spot up. These Sometimes if you leave your wet stuff out from the transparent layer, it, it can make your painting get a little drippy. And some days that's not a bad thing, but I don't want that today. No drips on me for me today. Your pinks mixed here. All right, good enough. Throw that away. Put that away. Coffee, me too. <laughs> Martini, Sandy, how fun is that? I wouldn't make it to work. Carol, I haven't. I have them open. Do you want to see them? I actually thought about doing it today. I was cleaning off my area over here, and I opened them up. And but they all have a little plastic over them, and I thought it would take me too long, so I'm going to have to open them in advance. But look at that fun set of colors. I love them. So, but see, they all have, they all have like, plastic on them, so I have to open them all up. Put that back here on the floor and trip over that later. Okay. Carol, do you like it? I'm not sure I'm going to like it as much as the RNF pigment sticks, but the set itself is absolutely stunning. It's like art eye candy, isn't it? All right, so that fun bright blue. This is manganese blue hue. And that color in there, I think that's kind of a color that I'm needing to make for my... I have this one color of the jimmies on my donut painting that I'm not happy with, and it's like this sort of color. Like that's way too, um, here I have a Vasari cobalt something. Let's try this one. That's pretty close, isn't it? Carol's not sure yet, yeah. Well, let me know what you think of them. I should do it on here as an experiment some morning. If you have like a product or something you want me to play around with, I'd be happy to try stuff. As long as you don't make fun of me if I don't succeed. Because that can easily happen. I'm doing the same thing, not lining my colors up. I want to do my darks at the top, lights at the bottom. Carol says, yes, please. Okay. Not to do. Maybe in the new year I'll make some golds to 
do some different things because I'm sure you guys get bored watching me do this every week. Although you do keep coming back to say hi. All right, put a little more of that. I was doing something and I bent my my little palette knife so I used to always use a longer one and then I was watching some artist do something and she uses say a little bend in there so I keep it's harder to use never bored thanks oh good I'm glad yay thank you for saying that so I need um uh, Julie Burke had told me about, I never use like browns and stuff, so I got this raw umber, which she loves, and I love it too now, because I need some kind of neutral background behind some of that in the tree, so we're going to use raw umber, and maybe add a little bit of ultramarine blue in there, and see if I... Just a little bit of Indian yellow. I think I need to get a new palette knife because it's all scratchy in here. And <laughs> Julie, I love it. All right, and I'm going to use some warm white with that. And a lot of, no, I don't need, what else do you think I need? <laughs> it's not very much, is it? I'm going to put a little bit of this oh, blue out that I love. I use that in the background a lot. It's the Vasari Video Blue Extra Pale. I hope Santa brings me some of these for Christmas. Oh, Lonnie, you just came on. Yeah, I know, it's a crazy palette, isn't it? Uh, wait, I can't get the lid on there. I have trouble getting lids back on. Sometimes I just throw them over here. I have a lot of and lids with nothing on them. It's a terrible place to paint because it dries it out eventually. Okay. And I got this new fun color too. This is transparent yellow green. Fun, right? So I'm, gonna, so I'm just going to mix a little bit of that. Looks like it could be in my little tree somewhere. A little pop of bright. Doesn't look like much paint, but let's let's dive in here and see what, what happens. Lonnie, look, we're doing a bottle brush tree. Is that what they're called? Put that over there so you can see both. Can you see okay? I hope there's no glare. I'll move this a little bit. Okay. It's up high enough. Nancy says good color. Good. I'm going to... Do I want to use a bigger brush or a smaller brush? Do I want to use... Oh, I'm going to use a little smaller brush. I'm going to use my Monarch 14 flat. Lonnie, is it going to be hard? I don't think so. After, after I paint an entire box of Christmas ornaments as a painting, I don't think anything's hard. I mean, that... It's not easy painting Christmas ornaments. Um, and I, I'm trying to think about why. I'm not sure why, why they're not easy, but um, I don't find them easy. So then, you know, that's how anything in life, if you think something's hard, go do something else, and then you'll come back and appreciate how easy it is, right? I did a portrait of a little boy. It was his face. He was adopted um, from Japan or China. I can't remember. 
And that was probably the hardest painting I did. And then um, the grandmother who commissioned it wasn't happy with it. And I had to go back in and rework it a little bit. And the thing that was off about it was like a 32nd of an inch of height of his head, I think. And I adjusted it. And then I think she was happy with it. She said she was. But that was too stressful. So, so no more portraits of faces until I learn a lot more. Lou, I'm having fun doing my Christmas stuff. Um, so much fun. I should stop talking and start thinking here. Maybe I'll get the big brush out of for a little bit here. I've been having a lot of fun doing the Christmas stuff. So I, my launch, I think I have like 16 pieces. Most of them are small, my little ones. <clears throat> but um, they're all fun. I'm fond of them all. The hardest part was photographing them. Listing them is not hard either on a website, but it's time consuming. <clears throat> and that is the thing I don't have much of. Um, <clears throat> okay. I wanted to make this a little more gray. Let me see, okay. <clears throat> Everybody. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Julie said sure is. The hardest part. Now I forget what I was even talking about. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so it's a fun challenge to get ready for um, the art gallery in Philly. It's called Blue, Blue Stone Art Gallery. And um, my business partner, um, she's since retired, but I, she was my business partner for like ever. Um, she has her work there and had suggested me. So how lucky am I? I never even... One of my goals for this year was to reach out to some galleries to see if I could find some other opportunities because I don't know if I'm going to have time to do art shows. <clears throat> and if any, you know, one or two. Um, but the opportunity came to me, so I love when that happens. <clears throat> Susie says, are your large paintings on boards too? No, they're on canvas. Um, <clears throat> I've done some kind of larger ones on the boards. Um, I actually just finished a commission that was 20, 24 by 36, and it's on the board, and I was happy with it. I like how it turned out. It was pleasant to work on top of, <clears throat> but the one that's beside me is a canvas. They get heavy on the boards. Um, I guess that's the only reason why not. All 
art shows are so much work, Julie. Oh my goodness. Not for the week of heart. I just don't have enough energy for... I'm actually going to have my work in a, in a show at um, Notre, da Notre Dame at Villanova University in January. So I've got to get ready for that. <clears throat> um, but they do everything. I just have to take it down there and drop it off. So that's not bad. I really don't need to fuss with that shadow. We don't even need it, do we? 11 shows. Oh my gosh, Carol. I think I did close to that. Were you happy with how you did? I met Carol at the one in, um, in New Hope. Was it worth it? Will you do it again? <clears throat> All right. A little bit of light in here. a little wonky. Um, <clears throat> Julie says, I like that you're not paying commission, but you share work for it. So many details to put on a nice showing. It is, I know, very happy, but not New Hope again. I know. Parking so far. That was crazy. Why didn't my husband went and got the car? I didn't mind that. Julie, I don't know if I know what you mean. Um, but you were happy with how you did, Carol. You'll do it again. As many shows next year. All right, I'm spending too much time on that little base, and it's not really all that important, so I'm going to move on. <clears throat> I do that sometimes. I get caught up, in, and I overthink something. And fuss it, and I don't need to. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> I kind of like the background. It looks like candy cane-ish. Talking about doing shows. Yes. I know. And, you know, to have enough paintings, that's a problem for me, too. You read some out and try new ones. That's smart, Carol. Well, I really felt like... Um, <clears throat> uh, Rittenhouse Square was the one I did best at. That's the most upscale one. But definitely felt like people spent more money there. <clears throat> so if I do any, I might apply to that one. But it's a hard one to get into. Oh, right, Julie. Yes, I see what you're saying. Yes, you don't pay. You just pay an entry to get in, but you're not paying a commission like to a gallery. See how it does in the gallery. I sold quite a bit at the little gallery where I had my work um, in, uh, when was I there? In October. And I was happy with that. Um, even with the commission, I did okay.
might need to go to a smaller brush. <clears throat> I have a couple small flat ones that I really like. Oh, um, a typical gallery commission, I think usually between 40 and 50%, maybe even 60, but not usually. I think the artists usually get 60 or 50%. At least that's what I've found around here. <clears throat> But you also don't have, you know, if they're selling work for you, then you can spend time making more art instead of, well, I still have to do all the marketing and all the other stuff. But. <clears throat> I better think here about what I'm doing. I can tell I'm a little off focus today. the dark side of the tree. You have to remember that. My plumber was overworking one day and bought one of my paintings on the spot. I wish it was so easy. I know it's funny. It is random, but I love that when someone finds something that you created and they fall in love with it and they want it and that's that and it doesn't take a moment more thought. Like that's what it's all about. It's not easy finding that, but boy, when it happens, it's like so exciting, isn't it? I mean, I love when I ship a painting off to someone and, and they send me a picture of it hanging in their home and it's just like, that is the best. I just love that I have little pieces of myself peppered all over, all over some, all over the world, actually. Like, who gets to do that as their job? <clears throat> yes, warms your heart. And, and there'll be more of those, I'm sure. It's just... You know, if they were a dime a dozen, we wouldn't appreciate them as much, right? and look at it. I want to let it, whoops, glow a little bit. How far away have I shipped? I think not very often, but I think I've shipped as far as some, maybe, I want to say India, but I'm not sure. Definitely to France. It's a hassle filling out the little form at the post office, but it's fun to know where it's going, you know? It's still cool. Post office. You have to fill out a whole separate form. And um, when I go to the post office, I'm always in, on my way to work, so I'm always in a hurry. I'm always in a hurry in general. I have to stop doing that, being in a hurry. some whites out here too. Um, 
I was having white issues too. I want to try that Promalba white again. I haven't tried it in a long time. But I was um, needing whites and just couldn't find one that I loved. And then I got out. I had a um, flake white from uh, Vasari. And I think that's the one that's supposed to be so unhealthy. And it is just amazing. I wish I could kind of fell in love with it, but I only use it a tiny little bit, like when I just can't can't get what I want. I get that out because it's it's creamy, but it has body to it. Whites tend to be dry. Um she says, my realtor said she and her husband giggle. Oh, that's so fun. It, whoops, interesting to see how you, whoops. No, wait a minute. Oh, I can, I can add a post, huh? I want, always want to pin that I'm doing a, a painting demo. I never know how to do that. Interesting to how you plan undertones. Oh, yeah, so I always try, and that's one of the hard, hard things for me is that patience, but I always try to put, you know, kind of my dark areas underneath. And then when I put the pops of highlight on, that's kind of when the magic happens. But it takes a lot of patience to envision it and know that it's all going to turn out and not to get discouraged. I don't know why those are all things, but they are all things to deal with. Painting. I got some whites out here. Maybe too white. What do you think? Gamblin's flake white. Oh, is flake white the one that's or is it is flake white the one that's bad for you? What did I say? I loved over here. I'll have to try that. Let me write that down. Gamblin. Like white. I should show you all my whites. I should do a whole little. Did you guys download my blues thing? I'm gonna write gambling flake white. I could probably even get that at. Um, I write on my table all the time. Um, Michaels, right? Did you download my blues? I did. I have to finish getting ready. I did one for reds, two and for. Um, yellows. Um, and they're still not even dry in the other room. Um, so I need to work on that. Maybe before Christmas or maybe right after. If you're on my mailing list, you'll get that. Um, but it would be fun even to do it for whites and blacks and like I would love to do it for all the colors because I learned in the process of doing it too. Always learning. <clears throat> Is it looking like a bottle brush tree? Is that right? Is that what it's called? I just need to do a little bit of, so little colors on top make it look kind of, I don't know what, <laughs> something. See how that ball is starting to look like it's back in there? It's because of adding like the little pops of color around. 
around it, I think. I have to add a few more of these areas. It looks like, you know, where the glue kind of clumps it together. I guess that's what it is. Here I am holding my breath again. Depth, yeah. And it says depth. The lower half turned out beautifully already. Thank you. So Julie, does that mean the top half didn't? What do I need to do? I need to work at the top a little bit. Um, Remember in the 50s, moms would clean out glass baby balls with a brush on a long wire. Oh, yes. I do remember that. I mean, I wasn't born in the 50s, but I actually think that my mom or stepmom used to still clean jars out with that. And it was long, it had a little handle on the bottom, right? And then it was a wiry thing with, the, with this kind of thing on top. Hmm. My stepmother was much better at cleaning than I ever will be or was. My husband actually cleans. Or my daughter's way more than I do. It's not my strength. I get bored cleaning. I don't find it, it doesn't keep my focus. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like some people... I think enjoy the process of it or, or the outcome of it maybe is the, the thing, but I don't know. I don't know why I don't. But I do need to clean up down here a little bit before I have to start shipping things out. I'm like lost in the details here. Thanks, Sandy. All right, a couple highlights. Oh, tiny um, silver one needs a little help up here, I think. And that one's lost in there. I do like the pink showing through. I'm happy with the little topper. Am I finished? Does it need anything? You know, I could fuss with this forever. I like the background. Is that 
green crazy? Should I do anything else back there? Does it look candy cane enough? Let me do a little. I don't know if I like that green right there. Yeah. Like not have that be a thing. I don't know why. Just wasn't feeling that. Should I do the little lights back there? They're just maybe too little that you won't even know what they are, really. May I add a little kind of, a little more shadow? <clears throat> good all right I think I'm gonna sign it because if I keep fussing with it I'll mess it up well, there we go bottle bottle brush tree is that what it's called I still have crazy light I can never not now I have to try and take a photo of it and I have to save this video today without messing it up. Thanks. Oh, I'm glad you like it. So there's my reference. There's my tree. So thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope that you guys all have an amazing day. And I'll see you again next week. Um, oh, and don't forget, let me know if you check out my... Um, my launch and you see anything wrong or or anything good um let me know thanks guys see ya have a great day bye